Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is VFX Guide coming to you live, and you're tuned in to the Trowel Introduction Tutorial. Before we begin, make sure both modules are installed and active. If you see them in the Add-ons tab of Blender Preferences, you're all set and can begin. Press the N key on your keyboard to open the side panel, or you'll find the Trowel tab. Inside, you'll see three main areas, Brick Creation with Bricks Category and Bricks Type, Build Set Button, Two Fields for Collections with Sync Collections Button, and Bond Selection Menu with Lay Bricks Button. Trowel has plenty of brick sizes to choose from, depending on your needs. Right now, I'll stay with the USA Standard Size Brick. By pressing the Build Set button, Trowel will create all needed bricks for you. Let's delete the default objects quickly and look closer at the brick set we just created. These four bricks are our low poly set. Base brick, half, one fourth, and three fourth sizes. There are four high poly collections for each size as well. Say you want your own custom size. Let's see how we can create one. I'll use a modified cube for that. Let's also give it a name. I'll turn off the old collection so you can see better. To make sure your custom brick is selected, hold the control key on your keyboard and press the build set. Trowel created all needed collections and brick sizes for you. Now, I'm making high poly bricks using my one-click damage add-on, but you can use any other technique or skip this step for now. Okay, now we are ready to build our first wall. I will use a plain object for that. I'll scale it to zero on the y-axis and merge all vertices by distance, so we have a straight line. Let's also give it a height. It's time to select a brick bond from the list. Right now, let's stick to the running bond and click on the lay bricks button. Let me turn on wireframe mode for you to better see what's going to happen. We can adjust the distance between bricks by scaling our wall. If you hold the shift key, the adjustments are going to be smoother. So I waited till it jumped and went back a bit. Let's jump to the geometry nodes editor. As you may see, Trowel added the needed nodes to a node tree and made connections as well. At the bottom end of the group node, you may see the wall end section. Let's turn on end A and end B. If you want, you can change the rows direction, which may be useful to connect two walls together, one on top of another. Let's select two side edges and make a closed shape out of our wall. Because we just changed the main shape, we need to adjust the distance again. Now, all bricks are laid properly. Now let's create another cube object and cut an opening. Better to switch the viewport display for the cube to wire, as it'll help to see where we are cutting. I'm also putting it into its own collection because I plan to make more cuts. Return to the node tree and drag and drop that collection there. It's important to switch it to relative and separate children to maintain the position for each object inside the collection. Now simply connect its socket with the group node's Boolean Geo input socket. Let's also turn on material preview, shading and color split preview to better see what's going to happen next. Let's see what we have here. If I try to turn on Boolean's ends, now nothing will happen.
We need to adjust our Boolean shape first, so it matches the brick sides. I want to make it size even, to have one and a half bricks from the sides. We also have some miscalculations here, but it's easy to fix. Simply change the scaling a bit. Sometimes a couple of pixels are enough. We still have some on the back side, so let's adjust the scale a bit more. Now, turn on Boolean NB1. Let's alternate it to fix position issues. Because we work with collections, we can simply copy our first cutter and place it in another position. This time, I want to make it look like a door shape. I'm adjusting the shape again to place its border to the sides of the bricks. The first opening was on side B, which means all perpendicular sides will be side A. Let's alter side A2 as well. So, now we have a simple brick structure with two openings. Let's turn on the Use High Poly checkbox and see the result. Because we use only five different objects for our High Poly collection, we can easily spot these repetitions. Let's now fix this with one of Trowel's modifiers. It simply rotates some of the instances by 180 degrees on the selected axis, and you can combine several modifiers to achieve even more randomness. Let me turn off High Poly and show you another handy feature. With Trowel, you can easily switch collections to use different brick sizes. Simply drag and drop new collections into their fields. Select the group node where you want those changes and click on Sync Collections. All we have to do now is adjust our shape size to adopt it for the new brick size. And there you have it. In this tutorial, we've covered how to use the trowel add-on in Blender to create a brick structure with various shapes and openings. This is VFX Guide signing off and reminding you that a little knowledge is a dangerous thing, so be careful out there.